because early this morning, Fairmont Senior took down Herbert Hoover. Now, last year, COVID impacted the Hoover varsity program, so the JV team competed in the state tournament. But this year, the seniors got the chance. Dane Hatfield with a three right there to end the first quarter. The score here, 13 to 11, Fairmont Senior. Now, the second quarter was rough for the Huskies. They shot two for 13. Fairmont seniors, Farrow Fields with a three right there. Now, Polar Bears shot 23% from beyond the arc. Hoover's Eli Robertson posting up, swooshing it before the halftime buzzer. Fairmont senior went into the break up 10. Then in the third quarter, each team scored 10. So we go into the fourth quarter, the score 41 to 31. Here's Devin Hatfield driving, hits the jumper to cut the Polar Bears lead to just four points with just under six to play. But Fairmont Senior was too strong in the paint on both sides. A block, a quick transition down, it ends in points, and that happened on back-to-back -back plays. The Polar Bears rolled after that, winning at 56-47. to I really thought, you know, coming in this game, we had a chance, and we kept that second quarter run they did when they brought Fields off the bench. He hit a couple threes. Um, that's what really hurt us, but I couldn't be more proud of my guys. They they played really hard. It's been a great season, and I'm truly blessed. I just thank my Lord and Savior. I, he gave me the opportunity to play a game I love and come to a place where I grew up watching high school basketball here, and I got to do it with my brother and these guys who have accepted me when I came here two years ago. And it, it does mean a lot, and I have the utmost faith in these guys and what they can do moving forward. But I'm just, I'm super thankful to even have this opportunity. And even though it didn't end the way that uh, that we wanted to, um, I'm just, I'm super blessed and happy to be a part of this team. Now Fairmont Senior rolls on and will face Scott on Friday at 11.15 a.m. for their semifinal game.